Hey guys, today I'm reviewing for you the new Natasha Denona Face Glam Palette. This is the darker version that I picked up and this palette is beautiful. So let's talk about it. All the eyeshadows in this palette are brown skin friendly. You've got so much depth that is happening here with these shades, Transition, Smoke and Crease. So these are the three shades that I can actually smoke out my outer we with all three of them i can use this as a transition shade as well as an over eyelid shade the mattes are creamy they're easy to apply they're blendable you have enough depth none of them go patchy it's just a beautiful formula this is what you expect from natasha denona i also really enjoy the two shimmers so this is a shimmer at the moment that i'm currently wearing on my eyes it looks beautiful it's a little bit muted so it's not quite as sparkly as glimmery as this shade right here but i think it works really well in this palette because you get a softer shimmer that you can use for the daytime and then you have a little bit more of a glimmery sparkly shimmer that you can use for nighttime so i think it does have a purpose in this palette and all the shades look gorgeous on my skin tone i think they are incredible so i'm very very happy with this eyeshadow formula i will show you looks with these eyeshadows so i'll show you that a little bit later now let's talk about these two we've got a blush and a highlighter i love that there's a section that can separate out the two from the eyeshadows the blush is really beautiful it's got this very soft almost a moussey velvet formula but it's not thick so it's not a thick mousse it's a very thin mousse like velvet texture it's really beautiful i haven't quite felt something like this from natasha denona before so i think this might be a new formulation i've really enjoyed it this is not a dewy blush nor it is matte it's a very nice comfortable sort of like a demi matte finish it has a little bit of shimmer in it but not too much just enough to give a glow to the cheek but not look super detectable or obvious so i've been really enjoying this blush i love that it pairs so well with other products so i've been using this blush on top of cream products underneath cream products with powder bronzers powder cream bronzers and it has worked with everything I haven't had a situation yet where this has gone patchy on me or it has lifted any foundation or anything like that. From a longevity perspective, this is also pretty good. It will last all day on me with some fading around that six and a half, seven hour mark. But again, it's only a bit of fading. You can still see color on the cheek. So very, very happy with this. Also really happy with the shade. You, I'm wearing it today and you can see just how natural and beautiful it looks on my skin tone. It has a slightly a burnt coral look to it. So when you use a very sheer application, it will look slightly red, slightly bricky on the skin. And as you build up that pigment, it will look more coral, which is so much fun. So you can kind of play around with how much you use and it will change the effect slightly. Now, as for the highlighter, the highlighter is also incredibly beautiful. It's a little bit more shimmery than I what I would personally prefer. I generally like my highlighters to be very finely milled and the shimmer to be extremely fine. This is definitely more shimmery, but honestly, it still looks really, really beautiful. I would say just be light-handed with it. Don't pick up a lot of highlighter and then apply. You will apply too much product. Just pick a teeny tiny amount and it will be more than enough. The color is perfection. It's a very beautiful, like almost like a bronzy gold. I don't know if you can kind of see the tone in it. I feel like that slight burnt tone that you get from the blush you also get a little bit of that in the highlighter so they pair so well together and you can also layer them really well so you can apply the cream blush first and the highlighter on top or you can do the reverse and there are no issues with application both of them work seamlessly with each other so i'm just going to apply that and pat that right on the top the texture is really almost like velvety soft texture it doesn't feel emollient or super creamy it just feels really really soft to the touch now you can pat it in with your finger it blends quite nicely or you can take a brush 
I like to pat it in a little bit and then go ahead and blend it in with my brush. I'm just going to pat that and it gives me such a beautiful warmth. I mean, I love this color. Just look at this color. Whew. And this is just a very soft wash. So you can of course wear that as a very soft wash or you can build it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more and then blend it out. What I love about it is although it's pigmented, it shears out really easily. So even if you apply too much, it's quite easy to take away and to tone down. And it's also really easy to build up as well. So that's the blush shade. And I think you can tell it just looks very natural on my skin tone. Um, a very easy to wear blush with almost anything. Now this blush does have a little bit of shimmer. It really doesn't look it to be honest and I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera at all but it does have super fine shimmer. I don't have any problems with that because it is very fine. It's barely detectable and it just gives a beautiful glow to the cheek. I'm going to take Spectrum brush in number 8 which looks like this and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this highlighter so the highlighter is quite shimmery it's not glittery it doesn't have big chunks of shimmer but it's definitely evident so if you're someone who likes really natural looking highlight this is not going to be it it's definitely a little bit more impactful and has detectable shimmer and then tap and then buff with this brush now this is a really good technique with this particular shimmer just because it's so shimmery you want to pick up as little product as possible tap and then buff into the skin and that way you will get a beautiful looking highlight that does is not going to look too intense that just looks really stunning and it's not going to look too shimmery on the skin so i'm going to build it up of course because I want to show you what this looks like but in real life I would probably not apply any more than this so I'm going to pick up a little bit more same thing tap 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 and then buff the highlighter also sits really beautifully on top of the blush it doesn't move the blush underneath or anything like that it doesn't look patchy it's just the two products work very beautifully with each other and so that's a really stunning highlight right there and the color is perfect for my skin tone gorgeous and look at that color that color is just perfection i love that i'm going to apply a bit of highlighter right here as well just because i have such sunken in under eyes that highlighter right at the edge will help to lift that out a little bit So first I'm going to use this shade right here and create a bit of a halo eye with this shade. I'm using Spectrum KDU's brush number 12 and just tapping that. So all I'm doing is really packing this on at the edge of my eye. Then I'm taking a Wayne Goss brush number 4 and I'm just going to blend this out. I'm going to go back in and add more product, go ahead and blend. These matte eyeshadows just blend so easily. Now I'm going to apply this on the inner part of the lid and then just going to blend it out. Now I'm going to go into this shade right here and pop that right in the middle. really beautiful and I'm also taking it up into the crease as well spectrum brush number in 19 and I'm just going to blend 
just in the crease. Next, I'm going to take the same shade and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line. It's funny, it makes such a difference with eye looks when you've got your foundation on and your concealer and then the eye just really pops. color just glides it's so beautiful this is the full look using the Natasha Denona face glam palette Now I'm going to go in with this shade again, but this time as a transition shade. So I'm going to pick up Spectrum brush number 10. Just pick up a small amount of this and apply that in the crease. Then picking up Spectrum brush, I'm going to go into the crease shade, which is this shade right here. It just applies so smoothly to the eye. I love how pigmented they are and they are so smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and build up a little bit more and bring it in right there. Go back and blend and take it into the crease. Now I'm gonna take the same shade and run it under the eye. And I'm gonna take it all the way in. So I'm gonna go into the smoke shade right here, just with the same brush, and I'm gonna add a little bit just to the outer V. Just to kind of deepen that a little bit more. And that is quite deep as well. That is perfect. Then I'm going to take Spectrum Brush number 18. And I'm just going to blend that out right at the edge there. Taking the same pencil brush, I'm going to go back into that smoke shade, which is the darker brown, and really hit that lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take this really, really beautiful shimmery, sparkly shade. Kind of like a, a taupey, silverish, warm champagne. It's a beautiful color. Let me just show you that. I mean, look at that gorgeousness. And I'm going to pop that right in the center. Beautiful. Just taking Spectrum brush number 19, and I'm going to... Just blend that crease area, just so some of that shimmer can disperse and spread. This is the final look. I finished off the eyes just with some black eye pencil, mascara, of course, and the rest of my makeup. I have used the blush and highlighter from the Natasha Nana Glam Face Palette as well. But this time I've got the highlighter underneath and I've added the blush on top. for me it's really it's 10 out of 10 I love it I love the color selection I love the quality everything performs really well just as I was expecting from Natasha Denona and I can see myself taking this palette everywhere with me it will serve me well for daytime looks for evening looks glam looks by the way if you have this palette let me know what you think in the comment section below it's gorgeous Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!